Today I'm changing the wheel bearing and hub on this little trailer, so this guy here. So the first thing might be, how can you tell if you need to change it? Well, if it was grinding when it was rolling or something like that, or if it's sloppy and loose. This is seriously probably the worst wheel bearing I've ever had on a trailer that the wheel is still on the trailer. I've actually had some come off before. Well, some, I've had one come off. You don't wanna have that happen. So I'm gonna jack it up. And the way you can check if it's good or bad is by if there's a lot of play. Okay, so we took the weight off this wheel and uh, you can move the, tra the tire in any direction you want to see if there's play. You can check up and down. Oh, that's not good. You can try side to side. Also not good. Also this one, this is where it should be. It's pulling towards forward. But look, if I push back, it goes back too. I hope that's all coming through. But this is bad in every way. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. It's so bad because it's missing the real bearing that it's actually started to grind on the axle. So anyway, bad, bad, bad. It totally needs to be done. Okay, so to get this off, we need to pull this pin and then remove the nut. Then it'll slide out towards us. Okay, there's the cotter pin, it's out. Also, uh, probably didn't see this, but this little, this cap is generally on it. You just take a screwdriver and pry it off along the edge. So it's usually here, you just pry it off. This one fell off because it just beat up. Pipe wrench or something. There's the nut. I'm pulling it out. This bearing's coming off first. Looks like it has a nice big washer on it. Here's the bearing. And now we can pull off the wheel and the hub. You know, you, most people probably don't do this with their tire on. Whoop. Pieces of the bearing just came out. Some leftover ring. You can see in there, maybe you can see there's some of the bearing pieces still left. It just exploded or, you know, wore out. This is the back of the tire. So this is the where the rear bearing should be, but mine is completely gone, so. Okay, it's cleaned up. Not perfect, but a lot better. Much smoother. Okay, so this, This is the back ring. This is the bearing. I want to put some grease in there too. There's just, you just can't go wrong with more grease at this point on everything. Okay, I'm gonna take our back bearing, put it nice and flat in there. And we're gonna put that on there. I'm gonna make this mash to fit. Here, you put it right here. What does it say? Like and subscribe, please, to Nathan. Thank you, Beck. We've got the back cover on, the bearing is in there. And I'm gonna put it on here, and it should snap. Yeah. For every video, you need this. Okay, putting in the back bearing. Okay, on the list of don't do what Johnny don't does. You know, not everything is as perfect as it looks like on the internet. And this is not going together exactly as it should. And maybe it's user error. I can check some things later. But I'll show you what I'm doing right now, which you shouldn't do. Don't do this. But I am. Is that, for some reason, these new hubs and bearings sit about a half inch 
more outboard than my previous ones. So maybe I ordered the wrong part. They look really similar. I'm not seeing the difference yet. Um, but they are, okay? And if I try to put on the same washer nut sequence correctly, I can't get it lock pinned into place. It does feel good. It spins correct. Play is gone. It's good in each direction. Um, but just the capture nut, it's just not in there. And so if I put it on normally, you couldn't throw it, thread it through the safety. You couldn't put the cotter pin in. And the cotter pin is important because it keeps the nut from walking off while you're driving. But it's also important for another reason is because the, this nut isn't just one that you snug in as hard as you can and friction fit it, hold it down. It's actually one where it, it, you, it's held in a specific position. But uh, the cotter pin, it can't be put in there very easy because it's not flexible enough to get past the hub because the hub is not going deep enough. It's half a thing too short. It, I'll skip to it. Um, I flip this nut around so that the relief uh, holes are lined up with where the cotter pin would go through. And then I've put this uh, zip tie through there to hold it to keep it from rotating. Now, the only concern I really have from the zip tie, one is, is it strong enough? I think that is, because the force isn't on the nut. We're just trying to keep it from rotating. The second is, is it gonna be too hot? Will it melt the zip tie? That's a concern. And so I'll probably get some bailing wire or something to put in there afterwards, but for today, so I can get this wheel back on until I go back into town. That's what's happening. So I am gonna zip tie this nut in position. This is the old hub in its entirety. And hopefully the bolts, yay, at least those are the right size. Dude, are the, the threads damaged? Okay, the wheel hub is on. Um, I would not recommend this kit. The threads on the studs were galled and had some sort of corrosion on them. I backed them on, back off, backed them off, used uh, some cutting fluid. Well, <laughs> I won't say cutting fluid, WD-40 on it. And every once in a while, I would take off the metal shavings that were coming out of it. Anyway, should be easier for you. Good luck. Time to clean up. <laughs> 